Hello, welcome to today's workout. We're doing a quad building workout and you can use some dumbbells if you've got them as well as a resistance band. The resistance band, we'll just be using that for some seated leg extensions. And um, so here I am showing you how to set it up. So wrap it around the surface that you're sitting on, make sure it's sturdy, and loop it around the ankle twice. Uh, then you'll do the seated leg extensions with that. But don't worry, because you can still get in a really good workout without any equipment. Um, so you can do this exercise without the resistance band, just intentionally squeezing and engaging the muscle. And trust me, you'll feel it. I definitely felt it. So that's the first exercise that we're doing. So this workout uh, consists of two different sets of exercises. There's 10 exercises in each set. We'll be doing 40 seconds of each movement with 20 seconds rest in between and repeating both sets twice. Okay, ready? and go so sitting with good posture squeezing the muscles at the top of the thigh to extend that lower leg and then controlling the movement back in so we're not going for a locked out knee and um, so going till the leg is almost straight and then squeezing back down making sure you're not just letting it go and letting the leg flop down no we're controlling uh, that eccentric movement as well Keeping, po keeping good posture as we go. Well done, 20 seconds rest and then we'll do the same thing on the other leg. There we go. So mind to muscle connection, intentionally squeezing the muscle um, at the front of the thigh of the leg moving. Notice that my leg is slightly lifted, just a little bit lifted up off the floor. Breathing through as we begin today's workout. Well done, great job. Next up, we've got some single leg squats. So feel free to hold a dumbbell if you would like to. If you're a beginner, then you can do one leg up to stand from the bench and then two legs to come back down. Advanced variation, doing them freestanding, getting full depth. And go. So keep the chest up, no matter what variation you're doing. The weight is through the heels. We're controlling that movement, keeping our balance, squeezing the glutes and the thighs to stand up. This is a really good way of working those quads. Nearly there, keep going, breathing through. And rest well done excellent stuff next up we've got the other leg <laughs> so switching on to the other side continuing with whichever variation you've been doing and go so I want you to make sure that you're controlling the position of that knee in the working leg. So I don't want that knee to come too far forward in front of the toes. I also don't want it to fall in or fall out. If you find that you're struggling to control this movement, then do the beginner's variation. So that is um, using two legs uh, to come up. So really making sure that you're keeping good form, keeping control, chest is up. You're doing so well, keep going, you've got this. Well done, you did it. Next up, we've got some narrow leg squats. So feel free to hold on to the dumbbell if you would like. Either way, we're gonna feel it. Again, a really good way of focusing on the quads and the core. And 
you go. So feet together, but still keeping good form. So I still want those hips to go back behind you. The chest is up. You can wiggle your toes, controlling that movement of the knee, the position of the knee, making sure they're not falling in or out or too far forward. Breathing through, mind to muscle connection, you're doing so well. Excellent, well done. Next we've got the Bulgarian split squats. So we're lifting one leg up onto a surface behind us and we're squatting down before squeezing and coming back up. And go. So I want you to make sure that you're keeping a good position. So I don't want your lower back overarched. Okay, so make sure the core is engaged and that you're not over lunging. If you find that you have to uh, overarch your lower back and stick your hips back, um, then just bring those feet closer together to make sure that you're not over lunging and you're not over stretching. Um, you might feel a little bit of a stretch in the front of the thigh of the leg that's up on the race platform, uh, but it shouldn't be too much, okay? You should be able to just drop the body straight down and relax well done. And we're switching over onto the other leg. and go so making sure you take your time to set up the time is just a guide i would rather you have good form and that you're in the right position than that you're rushing um, so make sure you set up correctly in a position that's comfortable for you the body drops straight down as you lower that knee is not coming in front of the foot in front as it bends, the core is engaged, squeezing the glutes and thighs to stand up. Awesome job. Then we've got lunge and kick. So kicking out in front, keeping good form. Beginner's variation, doing alternate leg lunges, standing on the spot. go so we're really solidifying the burn here again keeping good form controlling that movement if you find it hard to balance when you're lunging then what you want is the feet to be wider apart so uh, you know more closer to hip width apart rather than having the feet together Making sure that kick is nice and strong in front. Weight through the heels of the foot that's in front. And relax, excellent stuff. And then we're doing the same thing on the other leg. Ready? Go. So again, keeping good form, core is tight. Making sure you've got that pelvic tilt locked in. I don't want your hips um, tipping into an anterior pelvic tilt. I want your core nice and tight. I don't want you sticking out or overarching your lower back. You're doing really well, keep going. Be intentional with this, okay? We're not just going through the motions. That's it, really kick up nice and powerful like you're trying to kick a door down in front of you. Great work. Then we've got the wall sit. So we're doing a wall sit to finish off each set of exercises. So the wall sit marks uh, the fact that we are through with the first quarter of this workout coming to the end of a set 
and go. So keep in good form, breathing through. So I want the shins parallel to the wall and perpendicular to the floor, thinking right angles, making sure those hips are nice and low against the wall, okay? So don't, it's, not a, it's not a wall lean, it's a wall sit. And just hold it as much as you can, breathing through. Keep holding, you can do it. Anytime you feel like quitting, just say three more seconds. And before you know it, you're done. Well done, relax. Okay, coming into the second set of exercises now, starting with the step up. So one knee up on the bench or chair or whatever platform you're using, as long as it's stable, second step of a staircase will do too. And we're driving that knee up. Beginning of variation, you're stepping up and stepping down and go. So I'm not taking that foot off the bench. I'm really burning the quads here as I drive up and that opposite knee comes through. My arms are driving opposite arm to opposite leg. Weight through the midfoot to heel of that planted leg that's on the bench. Beginner variation, you're still stepping up with just the one leg, um, but you're stepping up all the way and then stepping off. And that gives you that extra little, I say break, I mean it's still intense, you're still working for it. Um, it just changes the tempo a little bit. Excellent job. We'll rest before doing the same thing on the other leg. Ready? Go! And with this exercise as well, that knee positioning is still important. It's low-key always important. Uh, but you're doing really well. Drive through, be intentional with it. Yes, it's tough, but you can do it. You've proven to yourself that you can do much harder things than this. And so, yeah, you're going to absolutely smash this workout. You're already smashing this workout. Try and make every rep the best rep yet. Excellent job, awesome. Next up, we've got some curtsy lunge with a kick. Beginner variation, just leaving out the kick. So curtsy lunges, we bring the one leg behind for a lunge, but also over to the opposite side. Dropping nice and low, keeping that chest facing forward. Ready, go. So my chest stays facing forward. Curtsy lunge, then bringing that leg through with control for a kick in front, making sure that it's with control. Keep going, nearly there. Keep pushing, kick nice and powerful. Excellent stir. And the same thing on the other leg. Ready? Go. So making sure you're crossing that back leg over, keeping your balance slow and controlled, keeping that chest facing forward. It's just that leg that crosses over, dropping nice and low. You're doing so well. You've got this. That's it, keep going. Each kick is stronger than the last one, putting energy and intention into it. And rest, well done. Next, we've got some squat jumps. Variation for these would be simple squats. You can do them to the bench as shown. Um, but otherwise, we're getting a really powerful, explosive, 
tight filled squat jump ready and go so you want to keep good form intentionally squeezing i want you to think as though you're like a rocket taking off you want to be really springy get as much height as you can but landing with a nice cushioned landing okay so bending the knees breathing through it's a bit of a breathy one this one nice plyometric movement here really getting those fast twitch fibers working nice and explosive great job you did really well with that catch your breath before we go in with some tempo squats so increasing that time under tension by going really slowly down and back up and go so keeping good form we're going for a full range full depth squat but going nice and slowly so taking your time try and make each one last as long as you can you're doing really well not spending too much time at the top we're dropping straight back down increasing that time under tension awesome then we've got some goblet squats so if you've got something to hold like a little dumbbell then hold that in front but either way i want you to put your hands out in front and that'll just help remind you to reset your form as well helps you to remember to keep the chest up ready go so hands in front feet are around about hip width shoulder width apart we're getting full depth here keeping that chest lifted arms in front is a bit of a reminder and squatting straight back down you're doing so well nearly there well done next we've got some tempo narrow leg squats so feet together going nice and slow slow as we can ready go so lower down slowly back up slowly keeping good form chest is up really take your time with this we want more time under tension great job keep going you've got this no rushing take your time well done relax and then we've got curtsy lunge to squat so moving through keeping your balance alternating the side that we do the curtsy lunge on and go so keeping good form making sure that you take it slow enough to control it okay you have a little wobble that's fine just reset and get back on it keep moving you can do it nearly there keep going staying nice and low excellent well done then we're finishing off this second set with the wall sit, which will mark the halfway point. So we're really feeling this in the quads now. 
ready? Go. Keep in good form. Think in right angles. So kind of become the chair. So make sure those hips are nice and low. The chest is that back is flat against the wall. Breathing through. Holding good form. You're doing so well. Keep holding. Not long left. Once it's over, it's over, but while we're doing it, we're doing it well. Awesome job. And so those are the first two sets, the only two sets that we're doing, but we're going to repeat set one and set two, starting back on with the seated leg extensions. You know the technique, you're doing so, so well. So I'm gonna stop talking and let you get on with it. Ready and go, go straight into it with the leg extensions. I'm going to stop talking to you and I'm going to let you go on, get on with it. I want you to really push yourself and go for it. You've already shown up. You're doing it. You're doing excellently well. Really give it your all. Okay, you've got this. Keep going. <laughs>
And well done, you did it, you completed this quad workout. Oh my goodness, it was not easy, but you did it because you are great and you do whatever you put your mind to. Well done, I hope you're proud of yourself. Let's finish off with some stretches. So reaching over for the toes <laughs> before we come down onto the mat, pushing the hips back, stretching out the lower back in child's pose, breathing deeply before we reverse and stretch out the front of the body, feeling that stretch in the quads. Oh, that feels good. You can roll the head and neck as you see fit. And we'll just repeat those two poses. So stretching back, stretching the arms forward, pressing the chest into the mat, before we reverse, squeezing the glutes, pushing with the hands. Wherever feels tight, feel free to lean into that taking a few moments to relax and breathe, catch your breath. And we'll come up into the lunge position, so one leg in front of the other, pressing the hips forward, squeezing the glutes. You can bring that back leg up and grab hold of the ankle if you want to intensify that stretch in the quad. Making sure you're not directly on the kneecap, but just ahead, so the weight of your body is just above the kneecap. And then switch on to the other side. So squeeze the core, squeeze the glutes, press forward, feeling that stretch in the quad. You can again intensify that stretch and turn over to the one side. Getting your balance. and release. Well done, you did it. You completed today's workout. I'm so proud of you. I will see you very soon. Bye. <laughs>